All right, people. So um, basically, I just want to go through a couple of little fundamentals, actually. So one of my favourite dancers is Gregory Hines. And uh, there's a really, really nice way that he used to dance um, in a sort of bebop, bouncy swing style. Now, some of my students know about this and they've done long combinations of which they've implemented it. Um, but I haven't necessarily done a full episode teaching how you can improvise within that framework, okay? There are a few fundamentals around what Gregory does, so a key step. Sammy, Sammy Davis Jr. always used to say he doesn't necessarily have a key step. I agree, because it's not one, it's probably like 30, yeah? So he's he's got like a series of key little steps. So whenever he dances like bebop, you'd always um, see Gregory default to certain steps. So if I just explain um, with my feet and not with my mouth, you'll see what I'm saying. So. That is one way that he would dance, okay? Now that's very under tempo, it'd be more like. Yeah, so you can, you get the idea, right? Um, that's basically a very sort of bouncy bebop swing style. Um, I can show you a few little bits um, and then other steps that you might want to go into afterwards that takes you away from that framework so when you improvise in tam sometimes it's good to start a thread so like a trail of thought so bebop swing would be this trail of thought yeah if i do this now i'll show you one of the first um little bits that he uses right so stamp and then it's a hop but you use your toes so he loved doing that so yeah, stamp, toe step, yeah. When I say step, you've got to transfer your weight, okay? So we go step, so if you notice as well, actually, one of my feet is in front of the other. So if you lean forwards and back like this, that really helps, yeah? So if I go stamp, hop, but I use my toe instead, yeah? So you can call it hop or toe. I'm gonna say hop. Stamp, hop, step, heel, stamp. And then it's like spank, ball, change. So spank, ball, change. Stamp, hop, step, heel, stamp, keeping that um, distance between the legs. Spank, step, yeah, or ball, change. Yeah, have a look again. Stamp, hop, step, heel, stamp, spank, ball, change. If I was to loop that, Yeah, you can see that that's a decent little loop there. Obviously, when you're being musical, melody is obviously rhythm and pitch, yeah? But a good melody would be something that is repetitive with subtle variation. Now, when we do uh, steps like this, they're quite easy to execute, but they're not boring to listen to, provided that you add the subtle variation. So, if I was to do it again, I'll face this way so you can copy. Stamp, hop, step, heel, stamp, spank, ball, change. Hop, step, heel, stamp. For example, yeah, so this is me slowly sort of applying that technique, yeah, and breaking it down. Now, good things to do, I would say, yeah, is to add a couple of stamps in between the hop step heel stamps. Have a look at this. It's very easy, yeah? Have a look. Stamp, hop step, heel stamp, strength step, stamp, stamp, da 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 da. Yeah, so. Stamp, stamp. Yeah, the last little bit that I've not shown you yet when I do this, yeah, drop, touch, hop, step, heel, stamp, yeah, 
So that's what we've got. That's the last little component that I've used there. So all I've done is I've used a basic uh, template here, stamp, hop, step, heel, stamp, and then spank, ball, change. That's one of the um, fundamental loops, yeah? That's one of them. I've also used stamp, so stamp, stamp, and then I can go back in. The last one, which I've just done, is drop, toe, hop, step, heel, stamp. So that's the last one, yeah? So ball of the foot, you might say that's a ball. Toe tap can be this, but toe, toe can also be like this. If you're just trying to get people to use the correct um, part of the foot, you might say toe and then heel. That's what I mean by that. Drop, it's kind of like a stamp, but you drop your weight onto it so you go, yeah? Yeah, cool. Drop, ball, hop, step, heel, stamp, or Drop toe, hop step, heel stamp. That's the final one. So you've got to stay loaded up on that leg that you drop onto. Yeah, so I've now given you three things that you can loop infinitely. Yeah. Yeah, so that's something, obviously that's done very slowly, but you can see now, if you're trying to make it up as you go along, it helps to establish a couple of fundamentals to sort of default back onto, yeah, run the clock down whilst you think of, oh, what's the next thing I can go into, yeah? So when Gregory does it, obviously it's a lot faster, but he can dance fast because he knows he's going to use certain ones at uh, certain steps yeah so like yeah that is a prime example of how he would do improvisation at that tempo and in that style now now we spoke about um a few of the fundamentals yeah Let's have a look at how you can transition out of it and into something else. So Gregory Hines, when he danced, he liked to use close work, yeah? Or uh, paddles, paradiddles, paddle and roll sections, yeah? So this one is a good one, but it's a good way to move from this swing bebop style into something else, yeah? So, Yeah, so you can see after we do like the bar. Yeah, I'm just dropping the heel and then I'm ready to go. So it's and one, two, three, whatever you decide to do. Maybe try the paddle and roll. Yeah. So again, this is like a, a lesson on improvisation, but it's taking uh, basic fundamentals, yeah, and allowing you to express yourself to the track yeah and also buy yourself time to then transition into something that might be a little bit musically different yeah when you're improvising it's good to take your time yeah a lot of like people when i see them improvise they do a lot of things yeah so they 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 hit the audience perhaps with a little bit too much 
all at once, yeah? A good melody is rhythm and pitch, but it must have familiarity with subtle variation. Now, it's impossible to establish a good melody, yeah? If you're rushing from like, like it just does not sound good, yeah? You need to give some, you need to give a nice musical score for the audi audience to listen to. And then once you do that, they'll be giving you nice applauses, yeah? So take your time, yeah? Think about um, the basics. Think about what you can do uh, with one thread of thinking. So like bebop or swing, yeah? Nice bouncy um, rhythm section. And then maybe go into some close work to climactically build uh, the piece, yeah? That's just a little bit of stagecraft, music theory and improvisation technique. My name is Benjamin Bailey. I hope you had a nice session today. Keep practicing, keep tapping. Any questions, let me know. Holla.